So what happened exactly in the interrogation of the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi? Joining us this Sunday for a CNN IBN exclusive is the CBI Director, Mr. Ar former CBI Director, Mr. R.K. Raghavan, who's the head of the SIT team. And with him, Mr. A.K. Malhotra, who is the former DIG CBI and is the man who interrogated the Gujarat Chief Minister. Appreciate both of you joining us uh, here on CNN IBN. The big question, Mr. Raghavan, you interrogated, your team interrogated the Gujarat Chief Minister for as long as nine hours. Are you fully satisfied now that Mr. Mo, uh, with, with the questioning? Honestly, Rajpeep, so early in the morning on Sunday, I just uh, uh, pulled uh, Malhotra out of bed and I haven't, I haven't discussed, honestly, I have not discussed the evidence that has been called out just uh, till now. I'm, uh, I think he, he looks satisfied. That's about all. So he looks happy, pleased. He looks satisfied, uh, 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 but he sir... He looks, looks satisfied. My, mind my word, I have not spoken to him else. Okay, you're saying he looks satisfied. The question then is, why were you not present, sir, at the, uh, at the interrogation and questioning? Why was it Mr. Malhotra, uh, who's sitting there next to you, who was asked to do all the questioning? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Rajdeep, you have known me as a director of CBI. Uh, you know what a director of CBI does? He doesn't uh, uh, meet witnesses. He doesn't meet the accused. And he just, he has an investigating officer or an inquiry officer who puts up uh, the results of the inquiry through the hierarchy. And then the director takes a view on it. And if he wants, if the director is any time in doubt, he can raise questions. And, but he never uh, himself does the examination of witnesses or right. accused. So that's, so I hold habits die hard. Right. So I brought in the CBA practice. And I'm sure it's a very fair and healthy practice. Would you say at the end of the day that the chief minister has been given a fair hearing or that you are, uh, 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 are you, uh, do you believe that, uh, that you will need to uh, call Mr. Modi again? Is that a possibility? I mean, I have to look at the evidence that has been collected. I have to look at what he has told Malhotra. Um, I don't have ghost of an idea as to what. I, I broadly knew uh, what, what are the questions going to be. Actually, we sat down, had a session. We broadly agreed on um, um, what we should quiz him on. Of course, it, there, is, there are no prices for this uh, because we have the petition, Zakia's petition. And uh, so we had to exhaust. It's a, it's a very long petition. So are, are your questions specifically it. related to Zakia's petition? Because they are, these were some of the questions we had put up, sir. For example, uh, were phone calls made by Esan Jafri, the former Congress MP who died in Gulbarg Society, I, I, I don't to the to chief minister? The, uh, were were they, there very specific I don't want to go questions? Into details. Now, broadly, broadly speaking, Zakia's petition was the basic document on which we had to quiz Narendra Modi. Whether he went outside it, as anybody has guessed, you must understand that I, I respect the functional autonomy of the inquiry officer. Right. It's sacrilege if I tell him, do this or do that. Sir, but so later on, when he puts up a report, I will ask him, I will quiz him. Sir, but the, uh, but and ask, uh, sir, sir, but the Supreme Court, areas. Mr. Raghavan, the Supreme Court had very clearly said the SIT's mandate was to find out whether the administration had in any way aided and abetted the 2002 riots. So it actually went beyond Gulberg society. The evidence, for example, of the Tehelka tapes, the evidence, for example, that, uh, that, that uh, some activists have pointed out of the chief minister allegedly uh, instructing his police officers to go slow at a meeting on the 27th of February. Were these other issues raised or was it a Gulberg-centric investigation that you're doing? Now, if I remember right, all the points you just mentioned are all in Zakia's petition. And I'm sure Malhotra has gone through all those. And I don't like to dwell uh, much more on the nitty-gritty of what he asked the chief minister. I don't have a go. I generally know what he would have asked. Right. Uh, our, 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 Bible, our Bible is that Zakia's petition, which had been referred to us. And I'm sure Malhotra, uh, known for his professional approach, he would definitely ask these questions. Sir, Let can you just wait. confirm I mean, one thing I, I with the speculation that there were 62 questions posed to the chief minister? Were there more than 60 questions? You can, I mean, the number seems... Uh, you uh, can check that with Mr. Fanciful. Malhotra, sir, so that the viewer at no, least I knows. No, I won't ask him because... No, no, let him, let him, let him, let him give his report. I won't ask him just now. Okay. I don't want to breathe down his neck. Understand, Rajpeet? I, I'm a great respecter of individual uh, f freedom, particularly when an official has been uh, given a task. Right. And the fact that 
I brought Malhotra in. It, it, it shows a tremendous confidence I repose in him. So how do you? And uh, so I will allow him to do his how job. How do you Let respond, sir? His report. How do you respond to allegations that the SIT has gone slow on the investigation so far? That the SIT includes uh, I uh, deny in, the includes police officers from Gujarat who may be uh, pre prejudiced. How do you respond to the allegations of bias? Because there have been serious allegations that right. have been made against the SIT, sir. Now you must just, you must understand that as far as this inquiry is concerned, I consciously kept all the Gujarat officers away. And as far as the other nine, I think they are doing a fine job. And I don't want to, I don't, I, I, mean, I mean, I don't, I don't subscribe to the view that they are going slow. They have done a good job. Let us wait. Let the, let the courts give their verdict. So, uh, would you say that the SIT is, uh, is, is fulfilling the mandate of the Supreme Court? Are you confident of providing a report Absolutely. to the Supreme Court? And how soon, Absolutely. sir, because Absolutely. your original Absolutely. time frame Otherwise was three months. Uh, how, in, no, in, no. in what time frame can we expect a full report on Gujarat to be provided to the Supreme Court? Yeah, on this petition, the deadline is April 30th. I'm reasonably confident that I'll be able to stick to that. I'll beat the deadline. So April 30th, you will be able to respond to the, SI, uh, to the Supreme Court on the Zakia Jafri petition specifically? Absolutely, you're right.